Owning a business is hard. We've all got problems. This is my biggest problem this week. All right, we're gonna get right into it. Before we do, like, subscribe, share this. The more likes we get, the more people that get this information. And I wanna share everything bad and everything good that's happening with everyone. Okay, so I am happy to announce that this has been a amazing, amazing week. So when I started this series, like I said, this is gonna happen. You're gonna have killer weeks where there's not a big issue that really sticks out to you. And for the situation when something like that happens, I'm gonna rehash the painful things from the past. And the one that is gonna stick out to everyone is there's always so many employee things. There's always so many employee problems. It's one of my biggest pet peeves to listen to people talk about how hard employees are because it's like self-fulfilling a prophecy saying, it's a hard, employees are horrible, can't find any good ones. Like you say it enough, it's gonna happen for sure. Yes, it's a challenge. Yes, that's worth taking note of, but an employee thing that is a painful, painful nightmare. The hardest, hardest of, one of the hardest employee things to have happen is having someone, having a rock star guy that's out in the field just kicking butt for you, knocking it out. You've got him out on your big jobs. You've got him out on your small jobs. You're moving him up as fast as you can because he's really just taking it on. You're proud of the work he's doing and you really think that he's gonna be the one. You've got him out on a big job. He's just kicking butt. And this big job, you're like halfway through. And he's gone. That's the biggest problem. One of the biggest painful problems I've had when I was in the middle of it, I thought it was a tragedy. It's happened in different areas of the business several times. And it's gonna happen to you. You're gonna have your rock star, the guy, the girl, the whoever you thought, leave in the middle of something. Leave you out high and dry, and you not know how you're gonna be able to make it through the next day. And that's why the 1% kick butt and the 99% don't. Because the 99% have this issue, and they give up. They move on. And it beats them down and breaks them down. And the 1% says, yeah, I'll stand back up, let's do it again. So that was the biggest problem. Last year, some at some point, there was one serious uh, person that left, and um, you know, this is, happens every year, something crazy like that happens, someone you think that is a rock star, and they leave you, and it causes serious, serious pain. It disrupts a job. Um, in the middle of a big job we had, it got completely disrupted. It was a really, really hard week for me. And I was like, man, how? How am I gonna get it done? And that's where, how I answered this was digging deep. I know the work. I train a lot of the people in this work unless they come on and they just know a ton. Uh, you know, I train them in the way I want it done and the way we do, we have it, we do it here. And um, you know, I dug deep, I got out on that job, I made sure it was right and I tried to move and push the people up around that, that job. And it was a challenge and it was super, super bad. And just know that it's gonna happen and know that crazy things can happen with your employees. They can be there one day and they could be gone the next, even if you treat them like gold. So really what the big takeaways from this are is, is be prepared in your business. Know that things are gonna challenge you. And I've said it in some of my motivational talks that I do because motivation is a lot of this, is staying motivated, staying determined, using your purpose to keep you determined. But it's not happening to you, it's happening for you. Your best guy quits and one of the biggest takeaways a month later is you can get through it whether they quit or not. You know, you have a lot of employees quit and they think it's gonna end you because they know they're a fairly big key role. And the world doesn't stop spinning just because one person hops off the train, hops off the ride, whatever. It's gonna keep going. And if you keep going with it, you keep getting up, it is a, it's a character building lesson 
to have the hard things happen to you in business. That's why anybody that's watched a lot of my videos, they've heard me say it at least probably in a few videos that if I dealt with what I dealt with today, in the first year of business, I'd wake up and cry every day. Today, it's not that big of a deal, you know? It is what it is. Wild stuff happens. I'm waiting for the next big crazy thing. You know, I'm waiting for the next wild thing that I can't believe, that I just cannot fathom would happen. And I'm gonna learn from that thing and grow too. So the true message is, is the worst thing that happened was an employee leaving and leaving me high and dry on a, in the middle of a big job and totally freaking out a week for me. And the takeaways are, it happens to everyone. Know that this happens to everyone, that key people quit and bad things happen. And that when it does happen, know that this is normal. It doesn't matter what you do, things like this are gonna happen. And that this is a growing moment. This is gonna make you dig deep and figure out how to make it work anyway. And uh, entrepreneurs and people running businesses are just people that are good at solving problems. We solve problems, we get paid for them. We solve customers' problems, we get paid for them. We solve their water issue. We solve their retaining wall issue. We solve their landscape, the look of their house issue, and we get paid. But behind the scenes, it's the things that you're solving in your business that would tear most people down that'll end up making you a rock star. Good talking to you. See you soon.